Welcome back. Several Lincoln nonprofits had extra volunteers today. Employees at First Interstate Bank spent the day helping out. The seven locations in Lincoln are among 400 branches that are helping nonprofits across 14 states today. The bank calls it a company wide volunteer day, and it's the second year Lincoln branches are joining in on the celebrations. 1011's Grace McDonald met up with the First Interstate Bank volunteers at a couple of their sites today. Madison Volunteer Day is such a big deal to First Interstate Bank that they closed their Lincoln branches at noon. But their employees didn't go home and relax after a half day's work. Instead, they headed to nonprofits that were close to their hearts. It took five First Interstate Bank employees to move this massive dresser up three floors. Even though this deed took a lot of effort, the furniture is going to a young person with Cedars Youth Services who needs it. The branch manager says the experience was pretty empowering to know that they will have a comfortable, safe place to live. And Cedars Youth Services thinks so too. We're just really thrilled to have our friends from First Interstate Bank with us today. This organization is responsible for over a thousand kids and sometimes very desperate situations. The branch at 40th and Normal was among seven branches that teamed up for Volunteer Day, a company holiday celebrated across 14 states. One branch manager estimates between 50 and 70 Lincoln employees pitched in today. A lot of good communication, a lot of teamwork, some laughing, some joking, but we all realize how great this is and how important it is to help our communities. At the Food Bank of Lincoln, the volunteers filled nine boxes with 360 bags of food. Last year, volunteers saved the Food Bank $1.3 million, and First Interstate Bank employees were among them. Just as from a dollar figure perspective, volunteers are so important what we do at the food bank. It's a, it's a steady stream. Um, we have corporations that come in. We have regular volunteers that come in every week. In addition to Cedars and the food bank, volunteers also went to other nonprofits like Matt Talbot, Salvation Army, Morning Hope, and White Cane. The volunteerism doesn't stop today, though. The first interstate bank branches often volunteer at nonprofits throughout the year, and the branch managers encourage community members to join them.